Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Sinunong Grand Parade Inahan sa 21 anyos nga babaeng gipatay sa lungsod sa pinamungahan na sagmuyo o man masayod nga kabanay radiay ang suspek Mayong unto sa nga ni Dennis Tabar ako si Gia Navarro kauban sa inyo sa puwersa sa CCTN News Team kami mo atod ganinyo sa mga balita sa alas 12 o garon sa kompleto detalye sa ato mga balita gustong ipatuman ni Mayor Michael Rama ang strikto nga pagpatuman sa liquor ban tibok syudad sa Sugbo ato sa Sinolo Grand Parade karong Enero 21 matod ni Rama nga apil ang pag-inom sulod sa balay ang buot yang didan aron kalikayan ang mga kagubot sa gawas Gihimo niyang sumbanan ang City Ordinance Number no. 1929 nin silutan o pagkapriso sulod sa tulo ka buwan o multa hangtod 1,000 pesos ang kinsang muhimo o kagubot sa pampublikong lugar tod sa grabing kahubog. Awag ni Rama nga to sa publiko nga ipabilin ang kalinaw o ang kasadya sa sinulog sa matarong nga paagi. Apan nagkanayon si Consel Philip Sapra nga kinanang mapatuman ang maong lagda pinaagi lang sa eksek executive orders sa mayor. Suportado yun sa Police Regional Office 7 ang nimong pagbutyag gikan ni Mayor Rama bahin sa liquor ban. Analang sa 16 ka mga contingents ang musayaw alang sa Sinulog Grand Parade o sa Grand Ritual Showdown nga ipahigayon sa South Road Properties karong Domingo. Naglangkob kini sa duha lang ka mga out-of-town contingents. Dinggikan kini sa Canlaon City ni Negros Oriental o San Jose di Nagat Islands. Apil nini ang 12 ka mga contingents nga ni Salmot sa Sinulog sa Kabataan sa Dakbayan diin ang Barangay Guadalupe mo ang Grand Champion. Guest performers usab ang Mascara Festival gikan sa Bacolod City o usa gikan sa South Korea. Pas sa botili, walay contingent gikan mismo sa probinsya sa Sugbo. Bisan pa man sa pagdapit ni Mayor Michael Rama ngato sa mga nakadaog sa sinulog sa lalawigan nga mo perform na usab sa sinulog sa SRP. Daan ang ipadangat ang mga mayor sa Sugbo sa pagsupak sa imbitasyon sa Cebu City Government nga mo sayo usab sa SRP atul kana sa meeting uban ni Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia. So tao na sa Cebu City Government o sa Sinulog Foundation Inc. Kumpila man ang ihatag na premyo nga to sa mga mananaog sa Sinulog Grand Parade. Imahin ni San Jose Mokuyog sa mga imahin nilang Senior Santo Nino o Birhin sa Guadalupe ato sa Flavier Procession karong Sabado. Samtang security plan alang sa traslasyon sa Dakbayan sa Mandawe na hanay na human sa final coordination meeting. Ang kasayuran niya to di Mary Rose Sagarino. 
Sa unang higayon, ang imahe ni Senyor San Jose Mukuyog na sa mga imahe ni Senyor Santo Nino o Berhen sa Guadalupe at sa Fluvial Procession karong Sabado. Maukini ang usa sa mga kausaban sa maong aktibidad. Si Police Lieutenant Colonel Franco Rodolf Oriol, ang Deputy City Director for Administration o Tig Pamaaba sa Mandawi City Police Office ni Ingon nga kinigikumpirmar sa National Shrine of St. Joseph at sa ilang final coordination meeting uban sa Bureau of Fire and Protection, Philippine Army, Coast Guard, Mandawi LGU o Guban pa. Atay ko ang karoon no, na ang ato ang uh, imahin sa St. Joseph sa Jory sa Translasyon, padung ato sa Lapu-Lapu City, dili lang ingon na naigura mo ato dito sa Lapu-Lapu. Kung dili, this time, karoon to iga, ang atong imahin sa St. Joseph mo sakay na po apil na sa Pluvial, which is the, the very first time karoon sa history sa pagsaulog na to sa kapistahan sa kan pesta siya sa miaging tuig unang higayon usab nga ni suga si St. Joseph sa mga imahin sa balaang bata og berhen sa Guadalupe sa utlanan sa Cebu City ug Mandawi City sa barangay Subang Dako sa naandan si St. Joseph maghuwat sa National Shrine of St. Joseph ug ang duha ka imahin ang mobiyahe gikan sa dakbayan sa Sugbo paingon sa Mandawi magpabilin sila og usa ka adlaw sa simbahan una kini ibalhin sa Nuestra Señora de Regla National Shrine sa dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu sa tungang gabi isa Sabado dayon na sa Fluvial procession sa buntag alang sa security preparations matod ni Oriol nga nahan ay na og andam na sila alang sa traslasyon og problem procession kapin sa 800 ka pulis og personal sa nagkadaang ahensya lakip na sa mga barangay tanod og police interns ang ipakatap alang sa pagsecure sa maong aktibidad gihimugatan usab nga gidili gihapon ang pagpalupad og balloons og pagpabuto atol sa traslasyon sa mga mopalupad og drone giawhag usab nga mopa-register nato sa Mandawi City Police Office mahimo magunisay kan unang una kan pag pagrampan mo dili nato makontrol ang mga drone no mamahi mo makagusto siya injury no labi na kay daghan ang mga tao sa ubos na ay magpalupad og drone so so that's one thing another thing is bahin na po ni siya sa criminality and terrorism kay ang kanang drone could be arm pwede mahimong arm pwede, or ka nang kitaw na to militarize so pwede makargahan og mga bomba or bisan no, sa panahon na matang na makagos injuries or uh, kaya na mga dili maayon na pang hitabo. That is why ginakontrol na to karon ang paggamit sa mga drone. Mary Rose Sagarino, CCTN News. Sa so, pa mga balita, pagbato ng watan sa Department of Disaster Resilience, gingusga ni Senador Bunggo panahon sa katalagman. Nabutek niya kini ato sa pagpaghatag o ginabang nga ato sa mga nasunugan sa barangay kareta ng Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Aniya mong kasayuran? Human ni bisita sa daghang mga nasunugang dapit sa Sugbo, nakita ni Senador Bongo ang kamay ng danon sa pagbaton o departamento panahon sa katalagman. Gingos ganigo ang pagbaton o buatan sa Department of Disaster Resilience nga may responsable sa matag katalagman, gikan sa sunog hangtod na sa bagyo. Matudiya nga pinagi sa mong ahinsya, mas dali na ang pagdelegate sa disaster response nga to sa matag LGU. Si Go ang nagpalabang sa Department of Disaster Resilience Bill sa Senado din tuig 2019 paniyakining na duso. Ito po departamento ito, pag naisa batas, it's a cabinet secretary level. Ito na ho ang opisina na makikipag-coordinate uh, sa, sa local government units. No? Bago dumating yung bagyo, pag nasunugan, restoration of normal si kaagad yun. Yan goto yun niyang gibisita ang mga nasunugan sa barangay Kareta Dakbayan sa Sugbo alang sa paghatag og hinabang mayatag kini og balde sunog packs water containers pack meals og uban pang hinabang ngadto sa 173 ka mga pamilya hatagan sa bug housing materials ang mga apektadong pamilya pinagi sa emergency housing assistance gikan sa National Housing Authority ingon man usab ang training assistance gikan sa DTI pinagi sa pangkabuhayan sa pagbangon at kinhawa Gitaho sa ilang konsihal nga si Rodora Piles nga makabalik ra sa Pinoy Anan ang kapin o sa gagatos ka mga pamilyang nasunugan sa ilang lugar sa sitio Kalapukan. Nigasto sila og 200,000 pesos gikan sa barangay aron ikapalit og bugas ngadto sa mga nasunugan. Murag every day pirmiming nakadawat kay wa man sad ni undang ang among kapitan si Marciano Ando og sigig pangayo og tabang sa mga LGU sa mga organization ang mga apektado residente sa Kareta Elementary School. Abli pa ang ilang barangay alang sa ubang ahensya o grupo nga bot buhatag o hinabang ngato sa mga nasunugan. Gian Navarro, CCTN News.
Ginikanan sa 21 anyos nga dalaga nga napalgam patay sa bukirambay sa pinamungahan. Nagkanayon nga gustong madugta na sa bilangguan ang responsable sa krimen. Gipaubos na sa otopsi ang lawas aron masuta kong gilugos ba kini sa ilarang kabanay? Ang kasayuran niya to di Arnold Bustamante. Gidala na ang patang lawas dito sa lim na sa milyon sa regional PNP Friends Security 7 na rin ipaubos sa autopsy o masayra na unsay kamatian sa biktima o masuta kung gilugos magigit kini sa suspitsado nga si Jim Boy Pasakan nga ilarosad ng kabanay. Ang inahan ni Jocelyn nga si Jim sa milyon na kanayon nga pasado los nibi na itong Domingo sa gabi nilakaw ang iyang anak aron na manisko sa barangay Anupog subay sa katistahan sa mga lugar o banini si Jim Boy o ang igsong babae sa suspitsado na may hinungdan nga misalig na sabsiya. Apa na tingalan na lang sila kay nabuntag na lang wa pa makauli ang iyang anak og nagtuo sila nga dito kinatulog sa apuhan apan sila pagsubay wala dito ang biktima og dili na usab matawagan ang cellphone ini tungod sa kabalaka nagpablatter na sila sa barangay og dihangyo sa mga opisyal papangitan ini og tuon man pagka alas 11 sa buntag sa lunes napalgan kini sa kilid sa limaw nga wala nay kinabuhi nagpablatter ako sa barangay nagkuan og tanod ang mga kapitan dito kay igaagaw ra sad among igaagaw ra ang kapitan Bang, mga kuan siya mga tanod, pangita, na pag-uli na mo, ingon siya, ipablatil po mga han. Ya, karun, nakita naman na mo, gitambog sa lugot. Galing nga na nakpan sa kapulisan ng suspitsado nga si Jimboy Pasakan dito sa barangay Bituon, Bukiran, Dapit, sa Lungsod, sa Dumanhog. Human siya ang itudlong amoy kauban sa biktima sa pagpamauli. Giyang ko ni Pasakan ang krimen o giyang gibutyag, nga igawar siya nga nihangyo nga makikilawa sa pansa niyang iyan ang hubuon ang short pants ni ini. May baliban na kinitungod kay Igagaw Rosila. Din hina nasuko ang suspitsado o gisok mag makatulog kay Gayon. Ang kutukuto nga may nakaingon nga nakuyapan kini. Human niya mapahimusli ang biktima. Iya kinigitiwasan sa pagtuok sa riog o gihagbong sa limaw dahing tabon sa mga una sa saging. Sa interview sa RYHP, nangagpasailo ang suspitsado sa pamilya sa biktima sa ihangga na himo. Apan mato ni Jima, nga dili na siya makadawat sa mga pasailo o gusto siya nga madugta kini sa bilangguan. Kung salbahis kay ka, boy, oy, ba, pa, gi, pakaon pa ka na mo, o kung sa imong kuan. Kaya atay, Roy, may yung patio na siya, oy. Kaya grabe. May isa pasaylo? May isa pasaylo, lasa, ganyan, no? Di ba ka pasaylo niya? Di ba ka pasaylo niya? Di ka pasaylo, oy. Pasaylo on man na, kinabuhi man na, gikalas. Oh. 21 biyan na akong edad bata. Kaya ka na siya, 18 so pa. Ang kunin siya ba nga doon ay record siya ng barangay ang suspitsado tungod kay Maokini ang itumbok ka manaka sa kabarayan aro mga wat dili siya makatuong nga mabuhat sa suspek ang pagpatay siyang anak kay giila nila kini nga sakop sa pamilya ganit dito kini mukha o nung kaoban o kini sa trabaho siyang anak lalaki Pirmim, nasa mo agod Salik, kuyog na sa akong anak o sa trabaho kay kaoban na sila hatod kuha kay nasa midyaon si Sus Wa magdahom nga yun Wa magdahom nga Buhaton niya Salik kami kay Kuyog lang diskupan. Anong giinanak niya? Kumot sa lading ang pagkasikop sa suspitsado, gidaig sa Police Regional Office 7 ang kapulisan sa lungsod sa pinamungahan nga wala ramang 24 oras na sulbad nila ang krimen. Mato ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Gerard Espilare, ang spokesperson ni Police Brigadier General Antonio Adirin, nagiandam na aga mga ebidensya rung mapasaka na ang kasong rape with homicide. We, we are uh, saddened because there is a life uh, which is lost, no? But uh, your police, upon knowing the incident, nagkandak na yung tao, uh, thorough investigation and manhunt operation which immediately resulted to the arrest of the suspect. No? On that aspect, gi-congratulate sa atong regional director ang pinamungahan police. Arlo Busamante, CCTN. Ito naglangkob sa mga balita sa alas 12. Sangan sa tanang kaupadan sa CCT and News and Current Affairs, ingon man sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar, ako si Guillen Navarro. At tangi atong Sari 47, karon ka ng alas 5 sa hapon, hangto da sa alas 6 sa gabi. Musunod na sa Dimadugay ang Santos Gamisa, nga manukad live sa CCT and Chapel. Daghang salamat, Pit Senyor!
message of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. celebrate the memorial of St. Anthony Abbott. The first time I saw the image of St. Anthony Abbott in Madrid, I was so surprised because we are familiar with St. Rocky with a dog, with St. Isidro with a cow, and St. Anthony Abbott has a pig. So, more a distinction But what is significant about him is he is one of the first founders of religious life. He lived in the wilderness, he lived in the, in the desert, and he was considered the patriarch of the monks. And so this Eucharistic celebration, together with our personal intentions and our continuous aspirations for, for peace, tranquility, and prosperity in our land, in our world, we include in our prayers also those who are co commemorating their birthdays or and anniversaries today. And also we continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and resuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who brought the abbot St. Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, Grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through Christ our Lord Je Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. 
But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield bearer marching before him, the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized up David and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come against me with a staff? Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear with scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, that you have insulted. Today, the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will struck, strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will leave your curse and the corpses of the Philippi Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus, the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude, too, shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters, while David ran quickly toward the battle line in the direction of the Philistine. David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with a sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his bro, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without a sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from his chest. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. 
From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. To Jesus entered the synagogue, and there was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed Wednesday to us. I find it very significant in the Gospel reading today what Jesus said and apart from what he said, he's looking around with the people who were not responsive to the questions that he asked. Actually, the Pharisees and those who were planning against him. He was grieved at their hardness of heart, but it did not stop him reaching out to the man with a withered hand. Actually, his words, stretch out your hand, is actually a response to him stretching out his hand to the man himself. And I always consider this as a significant uh, expression, command, the curing command or the command in order to be cured. Because this is not just addressed to the man with the withered hand. This is practically addressed to those who were also around him. And in fact, it is still addressed to each and every one of us. To stretch out our hand is actually a gesture of prayer. The ancient way of praying is to stretch out our hands to heaven. Mubaya na nga daghan kayong maglalis, kung mag-ama na mo, kung moana ba, muisa ba. And one particular reliable source that I have is, it is not written in the, in the rubric. So we can actually, we are free to express ourselves. Ayaw lang ako i-overact. But reaching out to heaven through our hands is our way of praying and connecting with God. In fact, I remember studying the Hebrew alphabet 
there is one interesting and a beautiful Hebrew alphabet that is actually a, like a person stretching out his hands or her hands to heaven, kneeling down with no head. It is the letter tzadeh. And tzadeh is actually the first word of the word, of the, of the, of the word righteousness, tzedek. So righteousness is actually stretching out our hands to the Lord. But this is not only the dimension presented. Because stretching out the hand that cured the man with the withered hand is also a challenge at the same time for us to reach out to our brothers and sisters as well. We have a word, outreach, you know, outreach programs. Because one of the possible sources of withered hand or having a withered hand, kanandili makalihok, constricted because we are too selfish. And to stretch out our hand is to cure what is selfish, what is so selfish in us. Because stretching out our hand is also selflessness. In fact, when we face the cross, that is what the Lord is doing. He stretched out his hand to us, welcoming all of us, so that by welcoming us, we will also be welcoming other people, our brothers and sisters, especially those in need. Amen. To refuse to do good when we have the occasion to do it is to do evil. It is committing the sin of omission. Let us now learn from Jesus who cured on the Sabbath to relieve the paralytic of his suffering. And so we say, Lord, give us a loving heart. May we not become Christians who are neither hot nor cold. Rather, may we go out of our comfort zones and help our brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart. May the Lord soften the hardness of our heart and turn it into a heart of flesh that sympathizes and empathizes with those who suffer, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart. May the sick whose sickness makes their life a heavy burden have recourse to Jesus and find light in their darkness moments and hope to soothe their distress, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart. May we refrain from accusing people to bring them down out of jealousy or irreconcilable differences, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart. May we spend the day of rest to renew our physical and spiritual energies, to be close to family and friends, and to wonder at God's creation, we pray. Lord, give us a loving heart. Lord God, you made the Sabbath for men, not man for the Sabbath. Let us use the things you have given us wisely and never for exploiting human beings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil and Robin, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anthony Abbot, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape, may, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed. Just as your grace, St. Anthony, won glorious victories over the powers of darkness through Christ our Lord. Novena to Señor Santo Nino. O my dear Jesus, you are our King and our God. Because of your love for us, you came down from heaven, born of the Virgin Mary. My heart weeps, for in spite of your goodness, we have committed many sins. Forgive us, O Jesus, for our sin of ingratitude, in return for your goodness. Strengthen our will to resist temptation and sin. With your grace, we will be able to fulfill our promises and share with your glory in heaven. O Holy Child Jesus, who is ever good and loving, we stand before you, our true God. With humility, we implore you to give us your mercy and grant us all the favors we ask of you in this novena so that we will enjoy the blessings of heaven. Amen. Petition on the sixth day. O most loving Jesus, you gave us an example of a chaste life while you were on earth. We implore you to grant us the virtue of chastity so that we may always live a, a chaste life in whatever state of life we have chosen. This we ask you in your holy name. Amen. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. In the failure of our plans and hopes. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. When our heart is cast down by failure. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Always, always in spite of weakness, faults and shortcomings of every kind. Praise be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Let us pray. O sweet and merciful Jesus, Signor Santo Nino, the source of all goodness, we stand before your sacred image, imploring your divine aid for universal peace and brotherhood among all men and women. Enlighten the unbelievers and the heathens so that they will believe you as their true God. Restore the faith of those who have wandered away from you. Bring them back to your fold with repentance in their hearts. Grant also the faithful departed in purgatory the remission of all their sins, so that they will rest in peace forever. Finally, nourish and strengthen our faith in you, so that we will serve you faithfully on earth. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.